This new Pyro revamp is simply amazing. It is a wonderful upgrade from the original set, and it's got so many clever building techniques. There's also a great revamp of Mator and Garen as well. So let's break down the brilliant designs of both of these mocks and take a closer look to fully appreciate this wonderful creation, shall we? So these revamps are built by Alex Mertens, otherwise known as Construction Diva. And honestly, man, Alex Mertens has such a distinct and unique style of building. He's a master at making compact armored designs and using more obscure pieces to make consistent, smooth armoring that looks so clean and so fresh. I mean, for example, let's take a look at this torso. We start off with this lovely black chest armor piece, which originally came on the fan favorite set, Core Hunter. And Core Hunter also has this nice lower leg armor, which we can see up here for the shoulders. Then the upper arm here, it's using this cool 2x2x3 two by two by cone piece. And there appears to be some kind of like tire or wheel element that's just above that there. Now just that area alone that bridges the arm up into the shoulder and the shoulder transitioning into the torso, there's no gaps. Every piece just perfectly butts up against each other. It's so clean, it's so compact. It's just very well crafted. And the use of that cone piece there, lovely. It's great to see a system piece really blending perfectly with Hero Factory pieces. Now another well-armored area is this upper leg. The use of an Onoa Master of Earth mask, that's wonderful. I love that Alex also flipped it upside down. And he's also surrounded it with a few other pieces that have a similar texture. And as a result of doing that, it doesn't really look like this piece is a face anymore. It just sort of blends in and just looks like normal armor. And I think that's a very good idea. If you're gonna use Bionicle masks as armor on your next Lego build, maybe flip them upside down. It'll make those facial features a little bit less obvious and a little bit harder to read, and it'll blend in a bit easier. Very clever. Now just above this mask, we see a lovely black visor. Now this is a slicer visor, and it comes on many different slicer sets, but it also appears in this lovely racer set. And in this one specifically, it doesn't have any printing on it, it's just purely black. Now this is an older Lego piece, but man, it looks so good here. Alex also used it on some of the torso armor up the top here. It, it just has so many uses. So look, if you don't have one in your collection, maybe it's worth grabbing some. It's a bit of an MVP for Alex. He uses it all the time in many other mocks that he's built. Very versatile. Now, Nuparu still has his signature claws, but this time they're a little bit smaller. Now look, I do miss the original claw piece. I love that weapon so much. But you know, with the smoother armoring that Alex has given his version of Nuparu, I don't really think that original claw piece would have fit as well here. So you know, this claw design, it fits the vibe and the sizing of this mark way better. So yeah, it was a good idea to change things up. Oh, and I do like this elbow design. So up top we can see this connector piece that bridges the upper arm into this lower elbow here. And on both sides of the holes of this piece, we attach two of these boat studs here. You just sandwich the studs on that boat stud into those Technic holes and it's locked in place. And then to fill in some of the leftover gaps, Alex has added some of these dots quarter tile pieces. And boom, you got yourself a lovely, smooth, seamless elbow design. And it should be somewhat poseable as well. So yeah, fantastic. Now moving on down to this lower arm, we can see a rather strange Lego piece. What the heck is this? Well, you know what I said before about how Alex uses a lot of obscure pieces. Well, this is one of those obscure pieces. This piece comes on some of the various Knight's Kingdom construction figures, but not in the ways that you would expect. Let's take a torso piece from Old Mate Raskus. And if you commit a horrific crime and bust open this torso and totally damage the piece beyond repair, unfortunately, well, Inside the torso, there are some hidden treasures. You get these interesting gear pieces, as well as some other strange oddities that are also gear-shaped and ball-shaped and all sorts of stuff. But you do get these small silver cylinder pieces. If we look at the non-busted up version of the torso, you can see that they are this part here. This is where you connected the legs to the torso. Oh, and you can also see where those golden gears were here as well. Anyway, yeah, this piece does actually connect to Lego. And technically it is a Lego piece. It came inside a Lego set. You just had to do horrific things to get it. It, it looks lovely here and it works very well with this arm design. But yeah, it's not exactly purist if you want to obtain one. But look, there's no denying that the result for this arm design is wonderful. So given that, maybe it is worth destroying this piece to have access to some of those. Maybe. Now while we're talking about Knight's Kingdom pieces, Alex also used this nice silver foot piece that came on King Jayco. Now sure it's simple, but the foot design looks great. The textures of it pair very nicely with everything else. I vibe with it. Additionally, we've got a lovely torso design here that uses some macaroni pieces from this set. You can see they're on the set here just up top. And yeah, it makes for a very lovely torso design. Now I saw this mock back in 2023 at last year's Brick Fair, and I also saw it the year before in 2022. And in 2022, we can see that Alex was still playing around with this torso design. So it looked a little bit different. But yeah, I think I prefer this final torso design. Looks a lot more clean, and it translates well to looking more like abs. 
Ah, oh, now the best part about this mock, the lighting. Those stunning light up eyes and the way the red light runs through these tubes up to this blaster, that's top notch. It's quite rare to see lighting on Bionicle mocks, but every time I do, it blows me away and it looks phenomenal. So if you haven't got some lights in your Bionicle mocks, now's the time, man. Lighting is the perfect way to upgrade any LEGO thing you build. It always looks good. Oh, and these cool triangular trans red pieces here on the very tip of this shoulder turret. These are actually the lights that we see on the back of this Speed Champion's car. That's a very clever part use, isn't it? And it works great for a blaster. Now, one thing that's not really a technique here, but it's still worth talking about, you might notice that this is being held up by some sort of black stand. Here's a similar one that I found on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description to that if you're interested in buying one. But yeah, that's a great idea. Get some action figure stands and use them to hold up your Bionicles. That way they're not gonna fall over. And you know, if you're displaying them at a convention, that's certainly a good thing. Cause yeah, someone bumps the table, you gotta pick up all your mocks. It can be a pain. So yeah, great idea. Oh, and one last thing. There's one more obscure piece being used here. It's this strange part that we see here on the crotch. It's actually from the fan-hated Jack Stone sets. You can see that piece here on the side of this helicopter. Honestly though, I think it integrates very well with the rest of the textures and it's the perfect thing to use as waist armor. So that's Niparu. Let's take a quick closer look at Garen now. Yeah, it's great to see such a huge upgrade to this character, especially given that the original set was a little bit more stock standard. My favorite detail here is this neck area. We've got a nice tire as well as this Hero Factory headgear piece. The two together like that makes for some wonderful neck armor that transitions the head into the torso in all the right ways. It's simply wonderful. Moving down, we can see that one of the hands uses one of the pieces seen on the weapon from the Hero Factory set, Thunder. I think this is a rather nice inclusion and it's a good way to upgrade the original weapon a little bit. Plus I do like that nice pop of trans orange at the bottom here, very cool. Then on the other hand, we have this nice silver quasar spike that originally came on the 3.0 version of Bulk. Two fantastic choices for weapons here, I love them. And also what a great idea to use the feet pieces that appear on Big Chill from the Ben 10 construction sets. The size and the shape of this piece, it's a great fit. You know, for such a small mark, Alex really packed in so much detail and so many clever ideas. And to top it all off, yep, this mock has lights as well. The bright yellow shine, it's so captivating. And other things like a lot of these nice system greebles on the torso, and the really unique shape of these limbs. It's similar to how the official set looked, but Alex is taking it in a nice new direction. He's really giving the set even more personality. And he gave it eyes as well. I don't know why that original set never had any eye stalks. What a strange choice. Yeah, what a fantastic Matoran and what a fantastic Toa revamp as well. Alex, you nailed both of these. Great work. Now be sure to check the links in the description below to see even more of Alex's work. I'll have links to all of his social media down there, so check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more Mock Spotlight videos as we spotlight a few individual mocks from various LEGO conventions that I went to across the world. Thanks so much for watching guys. Happy building and bye for now.